Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such Hi. a pleasure to speak to you today. Oh, thank you. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this amazing film, see how they run. What can audiences expect when they watch it? Just a brilliant, funny, murder mystery comedy, basically set in the 1950s with sort of some of the best comedy actors and actors around. So, done. There you go. And I love how kind of original and fresh it feels. Um, but it's also kind of uh, a theatre play within a film, yeah, within I a theatre play. And there's lots of layers to it. So when you first read that script, what was the appeal for you? Oh, just because it was funny, I think. That's the immediate draw. But when it's, I mean, I was so used to sort of murder mysteries and stuff like that, but always, but from a straight point of view, you know, more dramatic. And so doing it as a comedy is so nice because you get to, do those sort of murder mystery tropes and you know those red herrings and those type of characters that you see but sort of make a joke of it and own it and make it fresh and exciting and that's really nice so you've got those sort of suspenseful dramatic beats but it's you know wrapped it uh, wrapped up in sort of funny moments which is really lovely and it's just impeccably put together. I mean, oh, the, nice. the set design, the costumes, everything. Yeah. What was it like walking onto set for the first time and, and then finally seeing the film, it all come together? Yeah, I mean, well, knowing how Tom works, it's just, because he's always across every department, so you just know everything's going to be to the best standard. Um, and the attention to the detail is so important in this film, and it's so important in film general, but um, no, as soon as you walk on a set, you're like, wow, this is, this is you know, this is big time movie stuff. This is amazing. <laughs> and what an incredible cast. I mean, yeah. there's just so many of my favorite actors, which perhaps you wouldn't have thought about putting together in a film, in fact, but I, I it just really works. It's so like, what's it like working with these people? Just about, you know, like in the NBA, when they get like the best, handpicked the best players from all the teams and put into <laughs> one like super group. It was just, yeah, amazing. And people I've grown up watching on TV and, you know, and seeing people like Sasha Ronan, who normally does sort of, you know, dramatic stuff and um, and seeing her do a comedy because her you know comedy timing is just impeccable. You think, God, that's amazing. I love seeing that in you know some serious actors doing comedy stuff. It's so mm -hmm. sort of fresh and exciting. And you know, it is a very stylized film. Um, did that present any kind of challenges on set, or what were some of the memorable moments for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's a big production like this and when it is stylized it's sort of um, a lot in the camera work and setting up those shots getting the lighting right because it just looks aesthetically so you know everything I would love from a movie um, it ticks every box so yeah th obviously that takes time in setting up those shots but completely worth it. Were you a big fan of Agatha Christie? Had you seen The Mousetrap? Did you have to go back and watch any of this to kind of I, Do you know what I've really got into it since yeah doing the film doing my research I mean it's one of those things that you don't realise you know quite as much as you do about that subject and you know I've grown up watching sort of murder mysteries on TV you know murder she wrote and all that sort of stuff so it's like it's part of our sort of makeup isn't it it's like uh, especially you know in Britain and it's um you know everyone loves a good murder mystery mm. and even going back to the 1950s I mean it just feels like it obviously it's kind of through rose tinted glasses in a way but yeah like, just seeing how you know the clothes that people used to wear and you know like yeah. it just there's that kind of retro feel that seems very appealing it was actually it's a lot of fun so much fun and it's just that pure escapism isn't it it's like you're being transported to that world for sort of an hour and a half two hours and that is so special and when you you know I love going to the cinema and it's that feeling when you come out and you feel like you know you go back into the real world you're like oh I just want to be back in there basically with those characters and I think that's what you'll get from this film which is really really special it's just such a you know um, it'll be a lovely watch I think mm. you know besides the murder <laughs> and what do you hope people take away because the thing that I thought was amazing I mean there's a line in the film you know once you've seen one who done it you've seen them all yeah but it just continually surprises you and I wasn't getting any of the clues until yeah. right at the end so you know there's just an incredibly immersive also very funny and, and, and great edge of your seat kind of film so what do you hope people take away oh I mean I just, just to be absorbed in it I think would be so nice and you know, there's some people that don't, you know, I'm, I'm never good at guessing who the murderer is, so some people do straight away. But I think just going with it, don't try and, you know, work it out too soon. Just sort of get wrapped up in that world, I think. And have you got any other roles lined up after this one? No, that's unemployment now, so that's it. <laughs> so if anyone's watching, 
give me a job, please. Um, have you got a taste for comedy though, from from like doing in this kind of film? Like, I mean, oh, just yeah. the the beats of it and the rhythm of it is the thing that really struck me. Oh, just getting that nailed is not not something that's very easy to do. No, it's not. And it, 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 when it's done really well, it looks like it's off the cuff and like you know it just happens in the moment. But I think for comedy, like really good comedy, a lot of thought has to go in and. It's sort of like formulaic in a way. It's sort of uh, mathematical. It's like, uh, yeah, a lot of work. I mean, again, again, in the script, it's, you know, that's sort of, um, you know, so much of someone's sort of love and joy that goes into that. So, yeah, it takes time. And, yeah, it's been a brilliant experience. I think I'm out of time, but it's been such a pleasure to oh, speak to you. Pleasure. Can't wait for everyone else to see the film. Yeah, Thanks thank so much. you. Cheers. So nice.